you we're doing your twin flame love reading for the month of june 2018 this is your twin flame love reading capricorn we're going to take a look at your thoughts goodness there could be a leo here of significance if not this strength card is representing a need to stand tall stand firm do not fall into negative thinking you are strong you are a pillar of strength you can overcome remember who you are let's see capricorn sun moon and rising capricorn sun moon and rising in love this is your twin flame love reading for the month of june 2018 we're going to take a look at thoughts, feelings, motivations for the both of you, Capricorn. <clears throat> Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. There is a link down below, guys, for those of you that are interested in a private reading. That link will take you directly to my booking site. Let's get started with you, Capricorn. We have the five of swords okay the five of swords is uh well not the best card to get five of swords you could be thinking about an argument a fight something here a disagreement uh, battles uh, the battlefield right love is a battlefield let's see what about your twin just as I said, right, what about your twin? I was called to look down and the tower is here. For many of you, there has been some sort of demolition, right? Uh, something came tumbling down. The destruction of old beliefs. Let's see. What is your twin thinking about? We have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is daydreaming, fantasizing, illusions, delusions. So it looks like your twin could be in La La Land in the month of June. Escaping reality, perhaps. Let's see, Seven of Cups. And the Rider deck is a person that is standing before Seven Cups. Each cup has something different, so they could also be uncertain here about a choice, a decision that they have to make. Perhaps there is endless possibilities, endless options for them and uh, they're finding it pretty overwhelming. There's a sense of uncertainty here, clouded vision, not seeing things clearly for what they are, entertaining fantasies perhaps, let's see. How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Capricorn, this month of June? Let's see. We have the Three of Swords, Capricorn. This in the Rider deck is the heart with the Three Swords, and it's in your heart. So, heartbreak, sorrow, emotional anguish turmoil not doing so well emotionally could also feel betrayed especially so because you're thinking about this five of swords the five of swords again represents lies deceit let's see what about your twin what about your twin? Also, for many of you, Capricorn, you could be feeling disappointed, let down, right? Because the Seven of Cups here, perhaps your twin, 
is telling you I don't know about this I don't really know how I feel right cups represent emotions water energy and it's in their thoughts so this could be something that they're communicating I'm not sure about this after all something that is very painful and hurtful to you let's see what's in their heart What's in their heart, Capricorn? What's in their heart, Capricorn? We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is the single independent person. This is the individual. Usually in many decks, it's depicted as one person. So it's all about that... Uh, self-interest here what is best for me the right decisions taking care of myself so i feel like your twin is very much focused on themselves on what is best for them is how they're feeling They could also be telling you, I want to be single. I want to, I want to be single. Or I don't know what I want, but I know that at the present moment, there's a need for me to focus on myself. Let's see. Let's clarify this nine of pentacles. Goodness, there's so many cards, but we have the death card here. An ending. A need to leave things behind. Things are uh, smelling bad, right? That's because they are, well, they're no longer good serving you. This relationship, them. What is this? We have the Ace of Wands new passion at the beginning that just came out a lot of energy a lot of hope a lot of desire could have been turned down with the death card let's see nine of pentacles nine of pentacles for your twin in their heart space let's see we have the temperance represents reconciliation moderation effort weighing options as well sagittarius energy i'm just feeling like This temperance is reminding me of like time. Like I need a little more time here to get this mixture, right? To where it needs to be. There's also a sense here of keeping things going like always uh keeping the i was going to say keeping the cup half full half empty however you want to see it let's see let's clarify goodness let's clarify this five of swords for you and your thoughts Capricorn. There's a need here for cooperation. Perhaps two people with different perspectives, different points of view. The temperance represents the coming of opposites. But I feel here with your twin, there's a very uh, individualistic force here with this nine of pentacles. Like, it's all about 
me, the individual. What I need. We have the Six of Wands. The Six of Wands represents public acknowledgement, represents triumph, victory. For many of you, there is something for you Capricorn, one, there is something that you have just accomplished that they didn't go the way that you wanted. There is something here that you are celebrating, that you are very happy about. Could simply be Capricorn that you are not getting the acknowledgement, the respect that you deserve. And this is very hurtful, painful, you're feeling betrayed, you're feeling let down. For others of you, Six of Wands, accomplishment, victory. There is something here for you Capricorn that you felt like it was a win-win. But we have this Five of Swords and I feel strongly that this is because of your twin and the Seven of Cups here in their thoughts. Let's see. Seven of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. This is being defensive, also standing their ground, not giving up standing post in the rider deck this is a wounded soldier that is holding on to one wand and they're holding on to it for support so there's a sense here of uh, not perhaps their point is not valid it's not strong enough their argument whatever it is here that uh, is going on with them this is in their thoughts right the nine of wands trying to keep something going trying to keep up and it's like you are exhausted they are exhausted tired but they're still holding on to something here Let's see, Three of Swords, Three of Swords, clarify this Three of Swords, Three of Swords, Three of Swords, Capricorn, Three of Swords in your heart space, Ace of Cups. For many of you, you're not receiving that uh, love. You're not receiving something that uh, you really want. It's simply just validation. Love, care, support. Very disappointed here. Capricorn. Deeply emotional. Let's see. What is motivating you? What is motivating you? At the very least, you are extremely disappointed and unhappy. In a sense, I'm getting right because in the Six of Wands, in the Rider deck, this is a person that is on a horse. And uh, there is a group of people around them that are celebrating, cheering right and this person on the horse which is you this is what's in your thoughts is feeling very happy very joyful very proud of themselves right but it's like not having someone to celebrate with is what i'm getting we have the three of cups this is what is motivating you success 
accomplishment three of cups and the rider deck is three people looks like three friends and they're all cheering right and that's because there is news worth celebrating so that is what is motivating you kind of like what i just said accomplishing something but one not being validated not being acknowledged and uh, not having that support something from your twin that you absolutely had to have three of cups what about your twin what about your twin we have that you saw how i jumped this is virgo this is the hermit the hermit is absent what did i just say right not having them there celebrating cheering right it's like toasting by yourself what is motivating your twin staying absent absent staying away the hermit grabs their wand their lantern and they're off into the darkness not to be seen for a while that is the hermit there's a sense of detachment here being aloof with this seven of cups let's clarify this hermit for your twin and this three of cups hermit hermit we have the knight of cups cancer scorpio pisces this is their motivation i'm gonna have to clarify this there could be a water sign here of significance or this is just uh, a love offer right love not being presented here being kept in a cave locked up in the dark not to be seen let's see no affection knight of cups and the hermit that that is three of cups we have the seven we have the seven of pentacles which represents being patient this is also receiving the fruits of your labor in the writer deck this is a person that is standing in front of a plant that one can assume they they planted watered nurtured and all that and uh, now the plant is giving back Again, there's a sense of accomplishment here. Six of Wands, Three of Cups, a cause for celebration, but there is almost like you can't celebrate, you cannot cheer, you cannot be happy about it because you don't have this Ace of Cups, which represents love. There's a sense of waiting here, seven of pentacles. Also waiting for reunion for many of you. Waiting for your twin to come. Well, wanting to see them, wanting them to come. But, uh, well, looks like they are the hermit right now. Who knows when they'll be seen again. Let's see, let's clarify this page, this knight of cups here. we have the eight of the eight of cups so what did i say I'm like who knows when they'll be seen again so the eight of cups represents leaving walking away eight of cups let's see Capricorn, I want to pull a card from this Oracle deck that I have here for you, Capricorn. This is an Oracle deck that I use only for my private readings. 
but uh, I want to do this for you guys because I know that I I made you guys wait so this is a little extra let's see Capricorn 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 I feel that this deck is perfect for twin flame relationships or life and guidance readings because it's all about healing overcoming letting go let's see surrender to spirit once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you wow look at that what have i been saying repetitively here with you capricorn once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal turn the situation over to the divine let spirit work its magic for you surrender to spirit know that everything is going to be just fine there is a cause for celebration here for you capricorn something you've accomplished a goal that you are very happy about that brings you a lot of joy and uh, you can't really celebrate because you're holding on to things that do not matter in the long run they do not know that you are at the right place at the right time and everything is working itself out the way it's supposed to know that spirit is with you surrender to spirit and that you are being divinely guided let's take a look at the future culmination of energies here for the both of you you are creating magic, Capricorn. Do know that. Let's see. Culmination of energies here for the both of you for this relationship. For this twin flame union. Let's see. Here we go. We have the lovers this is Gemini we have Aries this is the Emperor so difficult decision in love this is telling you know that you've made the right decision the lovers right this is about love the relationships you hold with others but most importantly it's about difficult decisions head to heart decisions that uh, will ultimately have an effect here on uh, your relationships specifically romantic ones right of a romantic nature the lovers and then the emperor is well it's the king of all kings the emperor is cool calm cool calm collected right doesn't worry about a thing the emperor has control over their emotions everything right this is the emperor so do know have confidence in yourself that you are on the right path again surrender to spirit know that you are being divinely guided The emperor re represents achievement as well, victory, right? We have the hangman. Look at that. The hangman. This is Pisces. There's a need here for you, Capricorn, to adopt a different perspective that is going to allow you to bring good things into your life not even that i feel that you have a lot to be happy about but uh, you just need to see things from a different angle and that could very well be why you are going through this right the hangman 
represents a lesson having to go through a trial period go through something in life in order for you to gain a higher perspective and well we all learn through experience right and for you uh, Capricorn there's a very important lesson that you are learning right now and that is to trust your intuition trust yourself follow your dreams right and know that you have everything it is that uh, that you want that you need to accomplish anything in life and again I feel that you've done great things here Capricorn and that is only the beginning now all that's left to see is your own greatness the hangman That is your reading, Capricorn, for the month of June, your twin flame love relationship reading. If you like and resonate with this reading, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, Capricorn.